Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x. Welcome back to Let's Play J Cocoon 2. In the last episode, we took on the Earth Forest, got uh, the key for that long episode, but uh, in this episode, we don't have that much of the Earth Forest left, but we will take care of it. Probably actually should have started the video in the Earth Forest, getting the comma, but I guess we'll do the intro out here and then cut. But uh, yeah, we're gonna basically I'm gonna cut until I get the comma that we missed the last episode in that uh, second you know, branching path section, and we'll go from there. Alright, actually, I'm going to start talking from here, because I can show uh, where the next path is from here. Um, as I can show where it is from the entrance. So, what we're going to want to do, well, we can quickly actually unlock this while we're here, too. So, BEAM! That'll unlock uh, the barrier here, as expected. And we can move forward if we so chose, on, but we won't let's want to. Go. Come on. Wow, you're you're pumped up. So gallant. Now that's the spirit. Gallant, yes. Clearly that is what we are. We are we are gallant. Truly, truly. So uh quickly I'm just gonna May as well. Oh, oh I didn't did I not sell things in between episodes? Really? Is that, is that just something I forgot? Yeah, that's just something I forgot to do. Mmm. 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 Tasty. Anyway, so we're gonna head down this way into this section. This is where the uh, the Princess Vine is gonna be. I'm gonna cut this point just as for the sake of saving time to find the Kalma. But uh, this is the section we, we need to head to from the beginning in order to get... Them. Well, the Princess Vine's right there, basically. So this is how you get to the one we're going to be going to. Let me go find that Kalma. There we go! Found you! Strong survive, weak perish. I'm not gonna lose! You just sound more and more whiny if every fray is Kahu. Every single one. But that's okay, we still love you. So, it's one of these guys, uh, it's the ball four of the mushrooms called Shroomy. I think we've seen that before, have we? I don't know. But uh, it's gonna save up, it's gonna use its, you know, S rank ability. We've seen it before, we know that's what it does. So, uh, we'll put our defenses up, and we'll brace for impact, basically. So there's gonna be a comma here, and there's gonna be a comma on the path leading towards the boss. But we're gonna head on that other dead end path first, and take care of what we find there. So, well, there's not really gonna be anything there, it's just a dead end path, it's not even a comma or anything. But we'll head there just to show it off, just for completionist sake, why not? Uh, we'll confuse this guy, hopefully he's gonna wound himself now, that would be awesome. Didn't he already save up last turn? Am I, am I missing something here? Didn't didn't he just do that? I could have sworn he just saved up last. Maybe, maybe I'm just confused. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Either way, he's hopefully gonna hit himself now for massive damage. Do it. Or you can hit me for massive damage. I mean, that's that's cool. And all. I'm not disappointed. No, not at all. I'm not completely heartbroken by the fact that you didn't kill yourself. <sighs> this I. Liss, I... Oh well, that did a lot of damage at least, so... We'll just go ahead and finish him off by heading to this formation. Just being like, yo, I'm in this formation, have your defense lowered. And then, uh, Celian's probably just gonna rip a hole in this guy. So, goodbye, Sir Kama, you were fun, but I didn't like you, so you had to die. Because that's what happens to everyone I don't like. I like my boys the best. It's kind of, a. Uh... That was a very subtle SMBC comics reference, in case you guys were wondering. Yeah. Anyway, we luckily find him pretty close to the Princess Vine we want to go to. Um, this is right up here. So, yay for us. I don't need to do anything stupid like run across the entire map. That was nice and easy. As you can see, it's heading to the other dead end. As you would expect. I mean, you wouldn't expect a, a, the, the one, you know, that you had opened the gate for to head to a dead end. That wouldn't make much sense, now would it? Oh, more of you guys. Well, I don't want to touch you guys with a 10-foot pole. So I won't, because we saw what they did last episode of Fossa Magna. Not a very pleasant move that no one ever wants to deal with. So, um, we're just not going to deal with it, because I don't want to deal with it. Nuts to that. Um, we're just going to avoid everyone and... Okay. Can we, can you, can you not? Can you not, sir? That'd be, that'd be cool. Uh, we did get the keys for us, so all I need to do is just get the exit and find any other paths that I may have missed. Oh, the exit's right there. Is there a path? There's probably like a thing up here. Um, 
Um, you're very unpredictable, but that's okay. I can get past you. There was no reason for me. Is there anything even here? I don't, I don't think there's anything else in this area. Yeah, it looks like this is it for this whole entire area. Well, that's fine of me, because I don't want to deal with you guys. We saw them last episode, and I don't just... No, 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 just, just no. Not dealing. Not, not gonna deal with your shit, game. I'm gonna go sell some of this stuff, though, so, uh... I'll do a little cutty cut cut and we'll meet you guys back where the gate was basically that we unlocked earlier. So that sounds like a plan. Alright, so we're back here. Wilderness level 3 again. Uh, but now it's time to actually head to where the gate was. Complete this section and at the end obviously we're going to find a princess vine. We'll go inside it and uh, this will be the path that will finally lead us to the boss as you can see. So, boss away! Although we still do Killing Fields level 4, unfortunately. So, um... And there is actually a combo we're going to be looking for on this floor, because uh, these guys... These guys are here. And uh, they're a new combo we haven't seen yet. So, uh, or at least there's a new move. It's Explode, basically. It's the combo for Explode. Now that we actually finally have it, I can actually, uh... The, the one I was talking about last time, that is 150 damage. It's the basically fully... Uh, the, the S-ring version of Crush, basically. So, uh, I think we had Crush at one point, did we not? I think we did in Gaia. But, um, it's the S-Rank version, does 150 damage always, no matter what, so really that defense boost is a whole waste of time, because it's going to do 150 damage no matter what, which is nice because it won't one-shot anyone, but it'll still do a hurtful chunk, so it's not a terrible move, probably something I'm going to give to Gaia, like I've said a few times, but, uh, yeah, explode, so 150 always, no matter what, this is actually going to kill, isn't it? Shit! 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 I'm just gonna go in here and get rid of some of these guys before they kill me even more. Shit. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to waste that resurrect book now. Wasn't expecting that. Color me, uh, surprised and amazed, I suppose. Oh well, what can you do? Um, what happens? What happens, happens. Uh, just go ahead, use the resurrect book, and we'll heal them all outside the battle again at some point. So, ah uh, well. I only did 70 oh, because, oh, I guess the Resist Earth does still cut that in half, because don't forget, Gaia ha or, uh, Madame has Resist Earth. So that actually does still cut that in half. That's interesting. I didn't know that. But uh, we'll use the Resurrect Book. I can always buy another one at the store. So no, no harm, no foul, really. No harm done. And we'll be able to heal him back up a little bit um, just using this. So We'll get him back on his feet in no time, or at least we'll fully heal him before the boss happens. We still have a whole comma fight to do and everything, so there'll be plenty of time to heal him up. Still only does 75 damage, that's... You know what? Just for the sake of it, we'll just actually heal one more time. I'd rather just use a Mellow for 7, because I'm not really going to need any more of them. Well, I will need them for a post-game, but I mean, in terms of getting to the end of the game, I'm not going to really need them, so... Not too concerned if we're using, uh, using a couple of these. And I do have a bunch in the... I think I still have some in, in my inventory, so... Although this, doing having to do this did make me run out of uh, the defense Lawrencing thing, so I should probably have used that, but this will actually kill anyway. Yeah. Especially if crit, that always helps. So barring a miss, it's hard to miss against Earth Divine Beasts because they're slow, and uh, your accuracy slash their evasion is based on speed, so... We're, we're, we're not going to miss Earth Divine Beasts too often, I don't think. It's just That's just not something that will happen too often. But uh, the key swords here, we do need the Kalma for Explode. So let's go ahead and uh, hunt that Kalma down, though, before we head in here and go to the final boss. Because else we're not going to be able to get it until post-game. And while that wouldn't really be a big deal, who cares? There's a guy right here who Destroy has it. You. Well, that's just rude. People die, right? This is no time for that! This is the first time Nico's been in one of these conversations, huh? Interesting. Interesting. But, uh... Yeah, we'll just, uh, go ahead and kill this guy. Um, you know, this just this guy who's seen the Flay Vault form before. Nothing too... nothing too crazy. But, uh... But yeah, that was the first time Nico was in one of those. Interesting. We'll go ahead and confuse him, though. Hopefully he'll just go ahead and chunk his own health down instead of ours, but if he only does 150 damage, it's not really a big deal. Why do you... why... why... why do we hate Tamal today? Why do we hate Tamal today? I, I don't know, but, but... yeah. You can see, Explode can be useful. It definitely... It certainly can. 
It'll hurt everyone that it hits like that. Which isn't exactly the most fun thing in the world. But we'll be able to go into our, uh... We'll, we'll go into our water formation, heal up a bit, heal off this damage a bit, and, Because uh, if they go for Madame... She, I mean, it's 150 damage a pop. I can heal through that. It's never gonna be more than that. The water, the water formation is not threatened. In fact, it only does 75 to Madame because of her resist Earth, which is really helpful, by the way, to have that. It turns out, um, she has resist Earth and resist Wind, so she's able to not take damage from anything that's really not fire at this point, which is nice. These guys just really don't want to hurt themselves anymore. It's, it's just not very nice of you, sir. Let's just go ahead and chunk him down with this. And hope that he either hits himself in confusion or well misses, I guess, is the other option. I mean nice too. Don't hurt me! S wow! I'm just not getting any luck here right now with these guys. You know what? I'm done with your explosions. Go away forever. Punch you in the face! Boom! Face punch! So, Kahu does his little victory dance, and we can now gain pointless experience, and, uh, well, let's head to the boss at this point, really. We're just gonna make sure we didn't miss anything else in this area, and, uh, boss time it will be. And it looks like this area is pretty much, you know, just this, essentially. Nothing too big. In fact, I think we can just kind of see... Oh, there was a guy right there, and I didn't see that he was there! And now, oh well, it's a different fight. Okay, well, I'll take it. Because I didn't expect this to be a different fight. Interesting. Um, so we have a skill break guy as well, I guess. I guess that's nice because it's like, oh, well, you can't confuse and poison my peoples. At the same time, though, uh, they're using skill hold on a person who's never going to do it. That's why skill hold is just so situational because there's only one sign to begin with that can do that. It's a status condition that really has no relevance. Also, these guys are really doing a lot of damage to my my everythings, and I don't appreciate it because I'm going to need, you know, a decent amount of health for the final boss coming up here. So, if you could just go away, I'd appreciate it. Just miss this time for once. No. No? Okay, well, we'll, we'll spend this time healing. I mean, I don't mind having to heal Madame's MP up. I'd rather... Or waste all our MP right now and heal us up, as opposed to uh, have to heal up two people's HP. So, a couple rounds of this should get us all into ship shape, and we can go to our fire formation and finish them off. Yes, just, yes, keep hurting the one that just doesn't even take that much damage from you. That, that'll go well for you. In all honesty, I, can, I, I, I even feel pretty secure with this amount of HP. Because I can always get to him, some heals in with the water formation at some point during the boss. So. Let's just finish him off and move on. I'm not really too concerned with it. So that was another free fight for us, I guess. Well, whatever, more experience. Not really going to make a difference because it's really just going to be whatever levels we are at the end of this fight is really all that matters. In fact, I'm just going to kind of take a look here in the fact that... Uh, yeah, these... Okay, you're going to be stuck level 17, but everyone else... And you're probably going to be 17 as well. Yeah, everyone's either going to be close to... Like, yeah, there's really going to be like, no variation here. Just a few, is gonna hit, a few of them are going to hit 18, a few of them are... Well, most of them are going to hit 17. I'll just merge them anyway, because I want this little extra bit of power. Hey, you dropped a thing. Dropped a health extract! Well, that fight was worth it. I almost went there without actually checking that, which is kind of fun. Uh, boost Vitality, honestly... Give it to Scooter, because reasons. Basically. Reasons. But we'll go ahead and get this MP back at the full. Kind of a waste of a Melic Elixir 7, but I can get by with 5s if I ever need to in the game anyway, so... Let's go ahead and take on the boss of this area. I think it's high time we do that. So... Here we go. It begins. Killing Fields Bottom. Who is our boss going to be? Well... It could only be Kakona. Are you surprised? No one is really. Weren't you trapped in the Earth Forest? Yeah, that's why she's here now, Kahu. The sweet They're all dead. Everyone, sweet knights. Why did we put that team together? Oh, great! She's being all doubtful again. So was anyone surprised that this is Earth Darkness? No, no one was. Hard? Yeah, we worked hard. Cinnamon was always cool. Perfect strategy. 
Choco is the star in battle. Why didn't she fight at the top? Despite her looks, Vanilla knows the most about divine beasts. What about me? So what about me? Me, I got nothing. You need to work on your self-confidence issues, miss. Kona, you've been working hard as the leader. You're just... Yeah, you're just, just not very confident. Even if each one can get along, forcing them together as a team. And me, who is only the oldest and not so strong, me the leader? That's just an excuse. Well, you're just depressing. You just need to stop with your depressing well, shit, Kakona. Why did we put that team together? Seriously, this is like the entire the entire the entire Earth War she was dealing with this. Now she's still dealing with this crap. You're well, like I, then again, she is kind of useless. She was pretty terrible as a as an opponent, but shh, don't tell her that you'll hurt her feelings. Anyway, she's gonna switch to these Earth Formations, spam Mitria. Is anyone surprised? Really, not really. She's basically let's just use Mitria and be ridiculous. So this would be a good opportunity for us to heal, though. Cause, um, as much as he has Mitria, I mean, these early fights aren't really designed to be tough. You just kind of plow through her Divine Beast and her shields fairly quickly. It's obviously the one that's going to come after that's really the true evil. So, uh, unless you miss. They do have increased speed now, so that does actually make your accuracy worse, unfortunately, which is annoying. But whatever. She either can just have increased attack, defense, and speed on something that won't be able to do it, or she's going to switch to a formation that can, in which case, you know, we're just going to hurt her shields. So, it's really not that tricky. Okay, apparently we're just going to kill that one instead. Hey, you can use Mitri on us now. That'd be cool. Yeah, you should totally use Mitri on us, guy. That'd be that'd be awesome. Please, please, can we have Mitria, please? I can have Mitria, please, please, please. Oh, oh, now I'm sad. Now I have sads. Uh, well, I might as well just go to the water formation and hope that she stays in formation and then uses it to boost me more. I guess she's gonna stay in it. She's not really. You're just boosting yourself endlessly, Kakona. You're not really doing anything relevant here. I hope you do realize that, because, uh... Boost... Oh. oh. I just want you to boost me. Is that so much to ask? It'd be the coolest thing. I'd be like, yo, I have plus attack speed and defense now. Actually, it'd be even cooler if she could use it to me right before the, uh... The second phase began, because then I'd have a nice little increase right before that happened. That would be kind of cool. But, uh... I'm not too concerned, I suppose. I'm just gonna go into my flare formation and punch. Oh well, now she's actually doing other stuff at least. She's using multi on like the other guy did. So this will actually hurt decently because her attack and that defense and everything's increased. Don't forget, attack and defense are not just refer to like overall stats, not um, your not specific to physical or magical. So it could be any of them. Anyway, we're now about to just take giant chunks out of her health because she's been left open. So congratulations, you failed. Well, she doesn't really say anything. She just kind of just stands there and takes it. Kalma A. That's their name. It's just, it's just Kalma A. They didn't really try to name these things. They're just called Kalma. Literally, they're just... That's all they're called is Kalma. It's, it's not really the most exciting thing in the world, to be honest. Anyway, let's go ahead and get defense. Okay, well, now they're just gonna... She's just gonna go back into this formation. And that's fine. I wanted a chance to get my defense boost up. I um, didn't really necessarily need to... If I finished it off and got the defense boost up, that would have been nice. But uh, I can just get a defense boost up regardless and then try to heal up a little bit before the boss, I think. That sounds like a plan. Um, and then we'll just slowly make... Just... We're apparently just not going to attack the one that's at, like, negative two health, by the way. That's just a thing that's not going to happen. Not that it makes a difference, because all I do is use Metria and, like, big whoopee, you're using Metria. Oh man, I'm so scared. Um, you're just gonna stay in this formation. Yep, you're just gonna. You're just. This is just. This is all you're gonna do is just stay in this formation. Use Mitria. Kakona, learn to strategize, please. Strategy, not your strongest suit. Even if you're just some evil pseudo version of her, you're still. <laughs> she's just really. I mean, she's the leader. She. She is right. She's pretty terrible. I, I can try to be the nice guy, and just like sure, Kakona. But no, Kakona. Honestly, you kind of suck. Let's just be honest here. You're just not very, you're just not cut out for this. Retire, go find a new profession, probably for the best. Or you can just keep sitting here being depressed. 
I mean, you probably only got your job because you look pretty. But... Okay, that was that probably was kind of weird. But, uh... You know, if we could attack the one in the middle, protecting her from everyone... that game? Did that be a thing game? Can, can this be a thing where, like, you kill the one in the middle, not have to deal with her anymore, move on to the next phase of battle? But she's really not going to switch out and do anything but Mitria. I guess I could still go for the confusion and be like, hey, give me Mitria, because that would be cool. But it seems really unnecessary, considering I could just, you know, do the same to the Kalma fight coming up. Also, apparently we're killing this one, too. Apparently they all need to die. And apparently we're just going to miss. You know what? This is just really goddamn annoying at this point. This is just getting all sorts of silly. Can we just... Kokona, can we just... Can you just stop, please? I'm going to go in here on the off chance that I can confuse them. And thus, uh... You know... Get Mitria. Or just, you know, nothing. That's, that's cool, too. This is an unnecessarily long boss battle. Just, this is just... Divine Beasts! Do something useful with your life, please. That would be cool. Anyway, just gonna... Okay, well... This is fine. We'll finish her off anyway. I was gonna say we'll go in here and finish off and get Defense Boost to prepare for the boss at the same time, but whatever. It's just gonna just take a little bit of damage. That's fine. PK is more than tanky enough to take care of it. And uh, we'll just get our Defense Boost up for the boss coming up, and hopefully you'll finish her off good. No more of this. What I want is not that. Okay. What do you want, then? You want to be a green bug thing, apparently. I'm in the way. Everyone says so. Oh, I hurt her feelings. God, I'm sorry, but you're just bad. Learn how to... Or, I mean, you could just practice and get better, maybe. That's something you can always do, but, but seriously. Anyway, we're just going to confuse it. Hopefully they'll give us Mitria now, because that would be awesome. Mitria to us, please? Yep. Yep, that's that's actually a thing that happened. Mm-mm-mm. Our increased uh, attack and defense and speed, and he has decreased defense. Let's hurt him badly. Boom! Chunks of HP! All of the damage! Mmm, it feels good. Jeez, you were just like hyper depressed, miss. Oh, also, I have like doubly increased defense, I think. I'm not sure if it stacks or not, but if it stacks, then I have doubly increased defense, basically. So, nice to hurt. Um, oh, it's back to normal. I may as well take advantage of this state, though, and just do more damage. I can go into my water formation. I think the water formation... I'm not sure if, that, if I need to be in the water formation to get experience after, since I already did it once, but I'll do it again anyway. This is gonna hurt, actually. Yeah. Because I was out of my defense formation. Oh! Plus this kinda happened! So, yeah, we're gonna go into the part where we, uh, heal up our peoples, because they're all gonna be dying. And I can take a... I mean, he it's mostly magical attack, as you can see, so my water formation's actually better suited to taking magical-based hits. Because they have decently high spirit. Now, actually, Scooter has a pretty decent vitality as well. So... There's that. Uh, I don't really feel like I need to... You know, I'm going to go d and do the same way, just to give uh, Tamal enough time to get experience to get ahead. I mean, it kind of sucks that this guy just got the defense, the, the boost here, but we have a defense boost up now. I can go into my wind formation, confuse him, and possibly even finish him off, although that, <laughs> that dodge animation is just awkward. It's just like the most awkward crouch in the world, but yeah. Uh, all the boosts. So many boosts. So many passive effects. It's really annoying. Yep, I have enough for a total loss, so let's, uh, take some damage here, probably. Ow! Ow. But we'll, uh, go ahead and lower his defense and do some decent damage here. In fact, get Confusion off as well. And then, uh, hopefully he'll either finish himself off of Confusion right now, or, uh, I'm just gonna go into the Fire Formation and fuel the job, so... Let's see what'll happen. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself! Sad. 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 
would have been kind of funny to watch him kill himself. But unfortunately, it is not going to be the case today. We're just going to finish him off. He's going to go stretch. Mm, feels good. And then, uh... I... I what? I don't care. That's what. Oh, it's 24,000 experience, not 18,000. Well, whatever. Still just enough for a bunch of people to get to 17 and... Yeah, it looks like we're going to be at 17 here. And that's fine. So, more cutscenes and whatnot, and then we'll go do some merging. We'll have when more cutscenes, actually, before we do the merging. And whatnot. Kakuna, she disappeared. She didn't even... There was, like, no resolution. She's like, Did I'm still I... depressed, but whatever. <laughs> like, there's no resolution here, really. I was thinking about that. Really? She only I said it nonstop throughout really the entire hard. game. Maybe too hard. She might have thought that she'd be treated like an old lady if she didn't. That doesn't even make sense. Come on, hurry and grab the mark of Earth. <laughs> and then everyone's just like, you know what? We don't even care about her. Nobody cares about Kakona. She's just like depressed as hell. She's just she's super depressed, and everyone's just like, well, whatever. We didn't even notice that you were depressed. Sorry, even though you've blatantly said it. Sorry. Didn't really care. Sorry. Just sorry. Meh. Anyway, we got the final orb, which means we have all four orbs, which means it's time for crazy shit to happen. Basically. So, uh, although we do get some plot resolution again as well. The mark of Earth is said to control rejection and acceptance. Rejection and acceptance? Why such difficult words? So did everyone else on the Sweet Nights hate Kakona? Wait, those are difficult words? Wait, what? It was herself who did the hate. And it was herself who she hated. So she was disgusted with herself as the leader in some part of her heart? Probably a very major part of her heart. So was she accepted? By herself? I wonder. I don't quite get those kinds of people. So I guess that implies that she now accepts herself as the leader now more. But even then, that's kind of a downer resolution. She still seemed pretty depressed. But I All guess she accepts herself now? I don't know. Color back. You don't say! We did spend like eight episodes doing this. You're going to be the real chosen one, eh? You okay? It's going to get rough now. You might even get killed. Gee, thanks for the... Thanks for the vote of confidence, Nico. You might even get killed, by the way. Hmm, indeed. You do sound pretty strong. The trapped in the forest, though, Humans, remember? Humans, I guess, aren't totally useless. Well, thank you, I suppose. That same light. Mabu, are you there? Light and darkness. When you look between. When they are gathered again. Hey, look! The orbs are back to normal. Just like I promised. Kahu, you did well to pass the ordeals of darkness and come back. Hurrah! I shall now summon you as a disciple of El Rim. So we got all four orbs and now we've become the chosen one of light. And we get wings! Well, I think it suits you. Don't look too tough though. That's right, we now have angel wings. <laughs> well, how does it feel to be a chosen one? Uh, I feel sort of strange. Like I'm fluffy. Wonder if I'm a bit stronger. No, you're just fluffier. No, the wings are just for show, really. Silly. Don't you know what the chosen one's strength is? Huh? What could that be? Like powerful magic? Or a laser beam or something? Laser beams from my eyes! Give me a break. Isn't it your heart? A heart unsullied by darkness? Oh, well that's kind of lame. Heart unsullied by darkness? Is that my power? Sheesh, I don't quite get it. But anyway, I gotta go and stop Levant. I don't really understand my power, but I'm gonna go fight anyway. You gonna go see that loser Kiki Nak too? Hmm, think he's worried? I wanna ask him some stuff, but I'm worried about Levant too. Oh, that's right, you gotta talk to Kiki Nak a bit. Want. He just might die, so make sure you leave no regrets. Do you have to keep in mind that we're going to probably die? Because, you know, that, that's not really helping our confidence here. 
So uh, if you actually head to Kiki Nak, like she says, there actually will be some additional conversations we can have with him about the whole plot plot of the game. So let's go ahead and do that, just because why not? It's almost time. You ready? Don't give in to hesitation. Nope. Yep. I'm a little a kick excited. Butt. I'm gonna go straight in with my heart. I'm sure you'll be able to get a good result. I believe in you. Oh, do we not? I think you I got extra Oh yeah, you do. Can I explain anything? So, uh, yeah, you get these three new conversations, so we'll go through them all. Why? Why was I chosen out of all those people? Hmm. I wonder why, too. Is there a reason why I had to believe? Uh-uh. I don't think so. I'm just a normal kid, right? I don't think I'm special. That's true. Why Kahu? Opposite of the vault. That's why you were chosen. Don't you think so? Hey, cut that out, you two. Both of you are just talking nonsense. Finally, someone points out that everyone in this game Kahu talks nonsense. A pair of opposites. Kahu, that's what I think. I don't quite get it. Huh? Am I the only one? I don't get it either. But I can't do anything unless I go on. Sure. Sure, we'll go. So, he got chosen because he's perfectly average and normal? Really? That doesn't make sense! Hey, did you ever get to meet Elwim? No, never once. He's a pretty shy one. We were just given orders. Even when I broke the pact, he still didn't show himself. I was abandoned. I see. So, no one has ever met him. Why do you ask? Kahu, do you want to meet Elrim? He only has three toes, by the uh -uh. way. Uh-uh. It's not like that. I was just wondering. And probably should learn more about Mabu, when since that's where we're powers. When the power shown, a woman appeared through the body of Nico. I think it was the power of that woman that made me the chosen one of life. Mabu was her name. It was the same when Levant fell into darkness. Mabu, the light of hope. Hope that broke the Nagi curse. Hope that leads the brain. It may sound nice, but she is an unfortunate girl whose fate is long beside you. How does that sound nice at all? The Nagi found peace as people, and Mabu too, of course. When Levant fell into darkness, she was probably the saddest of all. But the voice of Mabu did not reach the ears of Levant after falling into darkness. Both of them were clumsy. It was always like that. Kept on missing each other. Yeah, it's very much a first game thing, the relationship between Levant and Ma about Mabu. Well, I gotta go. Um, Levant is waiting. they're, you know, married. Do not be <laughs> by darkness. Go with a pure heart, and you'll be fine. Or we'll die. One or the other, really. I'm kind of curious if anyone says anything interesting about our lings in the lounge, so let's check that out before we head to the room of life and then we'll uh, end this episode. Hi! Huh? Huh? What's up? What's up? Wings? Huh? Wings? Wings? What's up? Sounds oh, excited. These? They grew after I found the four marks in the forest of darkness. Just like the chosen one. No matter how I look at you, you don't look human. Look who's talking, Nico. You're a fairy, aren't you? But you think they're weird? Cool. Cool. I want some. Gimme, give gimme. Give Where do you sell them? As a user of Alcos, I'd be perfectly natural to have wings. Even birdmen have wings. Line seven takes you. Those birdmen aren't even human. Why don't you stop being human? It's easier said than um, done. Um, we torture Levant and make him spill the secret of wings. Come on, let's do it. Well, that escalated quickly. I'm for you. Go for it, Kahu. Go, go, Kahu. Go, go, go. I mean, you can get the wings. You just need to go through all sorts of trials and shit. The forest was unsealed, and the beast hunters left in the forest have returned. Let me thank you on behalf of my friends. Ah, gee, forget it. We gotta work together when in trouble. Oh, I guess we did rescue Nam, didn't we? He's unsealed here. from the forest. Not until I That's see true. Levon. I see. A cocoon master clad in darkness is strong indeed. But I know you can do it. Well, Room of Life, let's go ahead and merge and prepare ourselves for the final battle at hand here. Which will be happening in the next couple episodes. Harvest anything? We have wings now, by the way. Oh, another thing I should probably mention is the wings actually give you an extra power. I might quickly go ahead and show that off just for funsies, but uh. Anyway, tackle and skill talent. I mean, it's okay, but I don't really like the two turn move. Uh, HG up three and explode. 
actually probably a very big option I'm going to go for in terms of uh, Gaia. So that. And then uh, just, you know, another resistant. It's a resisting move and then, you know, has up attack. It's a thing you can do if you want, but nothing I really particularly care for. What I do care to do right now is merge things. So we're going to start with this one over here. And uh, what I'm going to merge Gaia with is an S rank move. We're going to go with this one for Shockwave, just because it gives the HP up, um, it's, there's really these two choices for this. This gives the HP up three. This is important because Explode also has HP up three, which means I'm not going to um, get an ability next merge, which means I won't replace Imago. So that's why I'm going to give this to him, and plus, you know, an extra little AoE move. Just, it's not a bad option to have, so... We'll go ahead and give that to Gaia. I think that's a good strategy for now, and, uh... It's just, it's just a stronger fire move to do more damage, basically. And a little bit of AoE. Not really as important as the magic AoE, because it works slightly differently. The magic AoE is the one that we really need. But it'll still be helpful to have, and that's what's important, like I said. So, yay for us, we got a scorpion thing still. And now we have an extra 20% HP as well, which is nice. You know, it just makes us even tankier, which is good. So, uh, no, well, okay. Didn't mean to do that. I'll fix that later. Um, little Foo. So I have two choices here. I could either go for the S rank Soldote, but then I have the Sun thing, or I can go for the A rank Soldona, which does less damage, but I also get a speed up plus three. So I'm actually going to do that instead. I know the S rank is stronger, and it'll do more damage, but I want to have the extra speed instead because this will make, make the fire formation able to go first. That's actually fairly important because it'll make our fire formation way more likely to outspeed other fire formations, and thus give us an advantage when it comes to a fire versus fire matchup, which is pretty important, because fire can be scary. If you go first and kill another Divine Beast, you've neutered their power by at least, you know, 33%. So, I think that's kind of a better option. Plus, you know, you're not, you could easily kill all three of them, because you're doing an AoE damage here now, and I have extra AoE on top of that, so... It's pretty cool. I like it. So, uh, and also, by the way, Little Foo just evolved into her final form. That's, that's notable too. So, I mean, look at this. We got, we got, we got fully evolved Little Foo here. Glorious. Glorious. Anyway, Tamal's next. We're gonna go for an S rank move, and, uh, for this one I'm gonna actually go for a single target attack with Killer Chance and get Berserk. Which will allow us to take more damage, or his attack will go up as he takes more damage. Mostly this is to synergize with the fact that he still has access to skill talent which will allow him to have a 60% crit chance now. Which is going to be important because I'm going to want him to basically be doing massive damage. He's going to be kind of like the single target nuke of the team right now. So that's the plan there. I mean, it doesn't really... I mean, it's, having Killer Chance go before Shockwave doesn't really synergize that well. It's just that in terms of like other moves, Shockwave just works because it has the same ability as a good move in the Earth Formation, really. And Shockwave isn't terrible anyway, and I'm not too concerned about MP. This also has less MP. Tamal is definitely under a lot more MP pressure than Gaia is, going first and all. So, uh, that's an important thing to keep in mind. So, that takes care of that. Just two more merges to go with here. Lots of merging today. Um, because you're level 17, but you're level 15. Yeah, you can go wait till after the game. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and merge. Um, well, okay. These in the wind formation, we have these options here. I mean, poison's nothing that can do, but I kind of want to keep the confusion. Just because double the chance of getting confused, I'd rather make sure that people get confused rather than deal with poison at this point in the game. So what I'm actually going to do here is just merge of this, just for the ability Strength Up 3, to give an extra 20% strength boost and allow him to actually hit decently hard. So this will make him a more offensive threat now, while still keeping the confusion. I mean, the poison is tempting. The poison is very tempting. I might give the poison to Tamal instead, though. I'm not sure yet, really. It's There's there's decisions I have to make in terms of that. Um, it could really go either way. But for now, I want to keep the confusion, because having two chances to get confusion is nice. And poison... Poison's nice, but generally at this stage of the game, we're doing so much damage that really the poison's not going to really rack up fast enough to really warrant it. Especially because, you know, how much damage you can end up doing just from, you know, the, po the confusion itself, too, so... 
Anyway, that's my little spiel on that. Our last merge for here is just going to be with this one. All it's simply going to be is I'm going to be merging it with, to get uh, this, Baryon. Um, which is actually an extra bunch of vitality as well, which makes his vitality strat, uh, stat a lot stronger. I'll show off all the stats at the beginning of next... Or I'll probably show off all the stats right before I take on the final boss. Or I can do a quick stat check now as well, I guess. Now that I'm thinking of it. But uh, this will also come in handy because this will be the move I want uh, I want Skewer to have when it comes to uh, post game when we have eight divine beasts. We'll have actually we'll have, get an eighth divine beast soon. So uh, we'll be moving Skewer to the corner there, and he'll have access to Barry in as well, which is what I want. And now he'll be decent. He'll be tanky enough to not be a, a liability on the Earth formation, which is kind of the worry because if you have, you know, if you're taking too much damage and you're on the Earth side, it's just, that's just not good. So, Gaia, you need to get off the water formation. What are you doing? Um, in terms of Divine Beast in here, our final one is Shadow Mario, who is not going to be ready to merge till after. So, we'll wait till post game to do that. Thank you for coming. The reason I'm merging early, by the way, is I want to use the next episode to grind experience while I'm doing um, all the stuff leading up to the final boss in order to gain just a bunch of levels just to get an extra little stat boost before the final boss happens. So I guess we'd quickly do just a quick stat check here. Um, tons of wisdom. Kind of overall stats. Actually now uh, Ceiling has way higher strength. So Ceiling's actually stronger than Tamal technically now. Um, good speed, good wisdom, whatever. Decent enough vitality, it's 85 and 84, it can take hits from either side now. It's not nearly as much as this one, or this one, but uh, you know, he can still take hits. Not quite as strong, look at the HP in this stat on this though, now this HP is huge, they're both really tanky. So really, this is the final team that's going to be happening for, uh, for what's to come in the next episode, guys. So like I said, in the next episode, I'm going to show off... Um, well, actually, there, I could show off Kaihu's new power now that he's the Chosen One of Light, but this episode has gone on long enough. I'm going to show it off in the next episode when we go into the forest, into the Lilith's Nest, and make our way to the final boss of the game. So this is Lucky70X signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.